Hello everyone, this is Beauty by the Braves, and today we're getting Happy Halloween! We have made it finally to the final day in October. I am so excited. Uh, I'm not going to any Halloween parties or anything like that, but I am doing something that I talk about a little bit later in the video, but this is my costume. I am a bloody nurse. Um, so this is the glam version of the look. I'm definitely going to do a more, not too bloody, but I'm going to add some blood to my face as you've seen. Um, this costume is too big for me. I also talk about that later in the video, so don't worry about it. Um, but this is definitely, um, uh, I've set this up to be a COVID proof costume, so I do have some elements to it to make it safe and okay. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys like how I got this look and everything and then um, the second part of the video I will add blood. So if you want to see how I got this look or this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the eyes just because, you know, they're closer. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do and I, I have a half idea. It's going to be really smoky so I think it'll be easier to do my eyes first and also, um, I think I'm going to do my base off camera just because I'm not doing anything special and you know there's no point in wasting time on it. So this is the Too Faced eye 24 hour eyeshadow insurance eye primer. So I'm just going to put this all over my eye and so I'm thinking that I'm actually going to do something at Little Adventurous for, for me. Not for probably a lot of people but for me it's going to be adventurous and We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I like it. If not, I also want to do my eyes first because if I end up not liking it, I can take it off. So my thinking for this look was to do a very deep, demented sort of smoky eye um, in order to, um, this makes you do like a really dramatic smoky eye, but definitely something that just like someone like not demented, but you know, the little like, ooh, scary type of serial killer vibes versus like doing like a really glammy look because I am supposed to be a sort of nurse. Like we're trying to like mix realism with not. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Spoiled Lips Cosmetics palette. It's just Spoiled Volume 17. I need to figure out what this palette is actually supposed to be named. Um, but I'm going to go into this bright red shade right here. And for the first time ever, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm going to put it in my crease. And I hope that it works and that I'm happy with it. Because this is like, I feel like I mentioned this in videos before. I normally don't like just putting colors into my crease. I prefer to put down like a, a brown or a transition shade and then pack on colors on my lid or like over the top. So let's find out. So the reason that I'm putting the red in is, and I'm going to actually like kind of bring it up above the crease a little bit once like a lot of the pigment has gotten out. And the reason for that is you will see in a second is, the, is because I am putting black all over my lid. And I, because I was thinking about doing an, a red smoky eye type thing for this, I was looking actually at the package for my Halloween costume and the model and a lot of models for this costume, because there's different variations, like a bloody nurse is nothing new, but the models all have like very like silvery and dark smoky eyes and I wanted to incorporate red into it a little bit. And so I was like, okay, well, what if I show the red a little bit above and kind of smoke it out. So that's what I'm thinking. We'll see if it actually works. So now I haven't added any product to my brush. I'm basically just going over and blending it out and smoking it out and bringing it up above the crease while also deepening it in the crease, if that makes sense. Just to make sure it's blended out and just make sure it's coming up and it looks, you know, cute. So I'm going to take the Smoke Show ColourPop palette. This is actually a really cute palette because it basically is everything that you need to do a smoky eye and so I'm going to take this matte black shade let's do it and just honestly put it all over my lid that is the idea here and I picked this matte black as opposed to any of the other 
matte blacks that I have because I wanted something that was um, buildable because I definitely wanted to play with this and place this as nicely as possible and I didn't want to run into a problem of the, the black falling into some area of my eye that I didn't want it in like in the crease or something and so I wanted to have as much control as possible over the black and then my plan is we'll see if it works is to add um, a little bit of red shimmer on top and so I wanted a true black I didn't want it to be so dark that you can't see the shimmer that I'm adding or that the shimmer wouldn't work and so I'm literally basically going into the crease with this and I'm gonna take my shader brush and let and let it um blend it out a little bit but that's why I took the red up so high so that um it could be seen once we throw all this black on and I never really had an emo phase I say not really because I definitely had a moment where I was listening to Three Days Grace and Lincoln Park and Simple Plan and There for Tomorrow and all that good stuff but I never had an emo phase as far as like wearing really dark makeup or you know kind of being punk or anything I was definitely preppy in high school which is ironic because I went to a prep school so what do you think was going to happen um so this is actually really the kind of one of the few times in my life i want to say it's the first time because i've definitely done it for other sort of halloween looks or that types of things but this is definitely the first time that i have really just put black all over my eyelid and just went hand with it so i'm going to take this fluffy brush and basically what i'm doing is just trying to make the edges between the two colors not so harsh and so while I'm liking this effect and what it's doing, I'm not really happy with, I think that the red is too bright and I'm feeling more punk than goth, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I'm going to go into the shade Living My Best. And I'm just going to put that on and put it right in the crease because I just want to darken this red just a little bit so that it looks more like blood and less just like pop of red. <laughs> so I'm still not really happy with how the red is looking. It's definitely getting darker, which is good, but I don't like that there's such a harsh transition between the two colors. Sorry, I'm just like blending it out a little bit more towards my brow bone so I'm going to dip very lightly into Temptress which is the black shade in this palette and just kind of brush that into the crease just to give a bit more of a gradient look and hopefully not make the transition between the two colors too harsh. I feel like I just got red all, black all over the it's okay like it's okay if it's messy it's okay if it's not completely cute because we're not going for glam per se we're definitely going for like dimension secret killer vibes so it's okay if it gets a little messed up if it gets a little grainy and one over the other because we want it to be kind of black and dark and smooth <laughs> Okay, now that that is on, I'm going to go back into this Spoiled Lips Volume 17, and I'm going to go into this shimmer shade right here, and basically just taking the same brush that I used to put the black on, I'm going to put this kind of just like right over my lid, kind of like if I was doing like a halo eye or something, just to give like a little bit of shimmer and glam to the look without being too over the top because I want it to be 
a little light in airy. It doesn't have to be completely light, but just a little bit to give a little bit of dimension to the eye and not make it just so matte black, you know? We call home and everyone ahead. Okay, so that's honestly that's honestly all that I'm going to do with the eyes for right now. I'm going to go off camera and do my base. Um, I'm literally doing the exact same thing that I do for my base, like in any regular day. So I'm not going to post it, but I will like link down below exactly what I'm using and stuff. But it's all the same products that you've seen. So you're not missing anything. So I'll be right back. What be okay, so I did my base. Let's get back to the eyes. So I'm taking the Maybelline Infallible um eyeliner and i'm just putting this in my waterline Pumpkin soul in this town. Don't next i'm going to take back into the ColourPop smoke show palette and i'm going to take a excuse me sort of pencil brush and i'm going to go back into that black and basically smoke out my lower lash line now everybody's waiting for the next surprise And it's okay if it looks a little smudgy or anything when you're supposed to be not, you know, it doesn't have to be all together. Um, I'm then going to take my flat brush and go into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I'm gonna go into that live in my best shade, the red shade. And I'm just gonna take the tip of the brush, put that in there, and kind of add to the red a little bit, add to the lash line a little bit, just a little bit. It doesn't have to fully get like smoked out, but just adding kind of the same contrast that's on the top of the lid to the bottom. I feel like it's just making my bottom lash line. Purple. That's okay. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit just so you can tell that it's red and not purple. So it's apparently these two colors make a sort of purpley shade. And I'm actually gonna bring the red up a little bit and kind of get it here. Just to kind of smoke and smudge out and just make it look really like messy. Next, I'm going to take the flat definer brush. I'm going to go back into the spoiled lips palette and I'm going to go back into the shimmery red and just put this in my inner corner just to add a little bit of shimmer, nothing too crazy, just so you can get like a shimmer on my lid. I wanted to do the same thing. Kind of in the inner corner. Like I said, it's not really supposed to be clammy. It's supposed to be more grungy, but I just wanted to, for the sake of completeness, and I'm actually going to go back in with my brush and kind of redo the top a little bit just so it stands out a little bit more. For liner, I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery <laughs> liner. I think it's called the Lollipop liner. And I'm just doing a basic wing, nothing too crazy. I have a hard time doing looks that don't have some sort of liner in it. Mascara, I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery Lash Icing. <laughs> While that dries, I'm going to do my lips. I'm taking the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. Um, this is an XOXO. It's just a nice, like, blood red. I guess I could have done more of a, a, a maroon with this look, but it kind of doesn't matter what my lip color is because 
for actual Halloween, I plan on wearing a mask. So my lip color doesn't really matter. Um, for lashes, I am taking, this is the House of Lashes um, collaboration with Sephora. This is the Lash Citrine. It's just a cute, fun lash. I picked Citrine because Citrine is actually my birthstone. And it just seemed like a good idea at the time, right? Um, for lash glue, I am taking the Belore Lash and Go um, eyeliner and lash glue. I really love this. I think it's so it's made lash application so much easier to the point that I've actually been like doing lashes because the application is so much easier now. That's our job, but we're not mean in our town of Halloween. In this town, we call home. Everyone. We're not going too reveal today, just a little, little furry lash, a little, little umph to the look, but not too much. With like having to wear a mask and everything, I've been focusing a lot on my eyes and lashes in an attempt to add more umph to a costume or to a look or something since you can't see my full face. And I'm kind of happy with it. Like, obviously, I want things to go back to normal, but this idea of, like, being masked in public so you don't have to do your full face, like, I'm feeling it. This idea of, like, fashion masks. Like, like you know how, like, people wear, like, head wraps? Um, some do it for religion, some do it for fashion, right? And, like, you know, it's, like, a way to, like, cover up your hair but still be cute. So it cover my face. Fashion masks but still be cute um, and save people from the pandemic. Uh, for setting spray, I am taking the Tarte Stay Spray, of course. It's so hot in here, so that was actually really refreshing. Um, I'm not going to highlight because... I kind of like the way everything looks right now, and also my costume does have the option of a mask, and I feel like once you have it on a mask, highlight doesn't really looks kind of weird. So I'm gonna go do my hair, put on my costume, and I'll show you the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. I have my little hat on. I'm probably gonna have to pin it for when I go out, but yeah, this is the dress and everything. I'll link like where I got the dress and all the good stuff down below. Um, so. The dress is a little big on me, but that's okay because for Halloween, Boothing and I are going to what's called a skate and scare. It's basically you go ice skating in costume, and I don't like being cold, and this is a very uh, thin dress, so I'm actually going to throw some thermals on under so I can skate with like actually being able to show my costume. So it's okay that it's a little big because then the thermals can fit and I won't feel too snug. Um, for COVID, because I said this is a COVID-approved costume, I have a little bloody mask. And for extra protection, I have bloody gloves. So, you know, this is now COVID ready. So I'm ready to go out for COVID. Obviously, when I go out, I'll probably layer this mask on top of another surgical mask just for, like, safety reasons. But here is the, the final look. Cute, right? So you can wear it with the mask, without, with the gloves, without the gloves. But this is what we're thinking of COVID 2020, bloody nurse. Okay, and now that we've gotten the glam part out of the way, let's get bloody. Um, so I am actually going to put my hair back for this part because I don't want to get blood on my hair. I also don't want to get my hair wet. So for this look, we're not going to go too bloody, but I was thinking about like thinking very like blood splatter was my look. So for that, I'm going to go into the craft, craftobian. Um, magic blood powder and I've mentioned this in a previous video but basically what this powder does is it creates um, the look of blood splatter 
when you get it wet. So I've only taken like in previous videos, I did a lot like in the Trisha Lewis video, I did tons of it. But this time we're only taking like that much in the cap and I'm just going to clean this brush off. Um, I'm taking this is my um, usually I use it for highlight. And basically what I'm going to do is kind of put a little bit right here and then maybe like a little bit on my cheek to kind of give the idea that I've like gotten blood splattered onto me, if that makes sense. So I'm just swishing it around and I'm just going to like lightly put just a little bit. I'm getting very close to my hairline, which is making me nervous because that's going to get wet. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more to this cheek just because there's more space for it. Just a little bit of powder and everything in these two areas to get the blood spatter effect. Um, I also was thinking about doing like that I got clawed or something, but I kind of felt that like in this costume, I'm the person in putting the pain as opposed to in pain being inflicted on me. Like I'm covered in blood because I murdered someone, not that I was murdered. Does that make sense? So for that, I'm just going to do a little bit of blood splatter. So this is the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace um, setting powder, setting spray. It's very wet. And so I think it'll do, let's see, a lot of good. See? gonna cover my hair as best I can. Definitely put that on my hand. And you see how like so I'm just gonna kind of let it drip naturally to wherever it wants to fall and stuff. So it's kind of dripping down the side of my face. That's cool. But you see how it kind of gives this sort of like blood spatter sort of spread out kind of look. Um, I'm just going to tap the edge right here because I don't want it to drip all the way down my face. This one I'm going to leave as is. It's actually staying pretty centered, but this one I'm going to stop. Um, if you wanted to, you could add some like um, drying blood and have it go all the way down, but this one I think I'm just going to leave as is. I'm just like tapping the edges just because I don't want it to run away. Um, but I'm going to leave it as is. I just wanted to get like a little bit of blood on me. <laughs> uh, so let me, now that that's kind of gotten under control. So this is not drying blood. This will move later on in the day. I think what I'll probably do is that I have to pin, I'm going to have to pin my hat regardless, just because it's too big for me. I might take a little clip to pin my hair back like this. So, so that it stays out the way. But this is basically what we're looking at um, as far as the costume. Put my hat back on. <laughs> but yeah, so honestly, this is the final look. Just a little bit of blood, a little bit here and there. You definitely can add more blood as you see is deemed necessary it's definitely bring it down the neck but i wanted to do something that's chill chill for me when it comes to blood splatter and just give like a little bit of something but then you know not to me um i'm also wearing a mask for this costume because i mean i don't want to throw it so the forehead one was really big i just had one i might bring it out a little bit so you can see it under my mask but like that's half the fun of having this like disposable mask is that I can get it as dirty as I want to and it doesn't matter. Um, so happy Halloween everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in November. <laughs>